Well, it's in the price point of 10,000 rupees to 40,000 rupees, where they probably are weaker in comparison to Swatch Group, uh, which has brands like Swatch, Tissot, Balme, Hamilton, and Rado. I think that's a segment which is still weaker for LVMH, and I'm sure they should address that in years to come. While Swiss brands slug it out in the ultra luxury bracket, the Japanese seem to have found their groove in India affordable luxury. That market uh, is not very small. Uh, if you look at the, 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 the true luxury brand, the, the, that market is very small. Uh, it's growing but very small. But our, our market segment, uh, in terms of, of the uh, retail price, about uh, 10,000 to uh, 50,000. Uh, rupees uh, is growing rapidly. The changing dynamics and equations of the luxury market of the world is at the center stage here at Basel World 2011. But beyond that, it's all about the exciting new launches that many of these companies are waiting to wow the world with. We'll get you an exclusive look at that in just a bit. Don't go away.